Hello, I am making a video on quick way of calculating support reactions for an indeterminate beam element. Now, for this I have considered a simple two span continuous beam which is obviously indeterminate in nature. It is fixed at A and fixed at C as shown in figure 1. It is simply supported at B. Span AB is 4 meter and it carries an UDL of 20 kN per meter. Span BC is 6 meter and it also is carrying an UDL of 12 kN per meter. Now, uh, suppose this beam I have already analyzed by some method. For example, I have analyzed it by moment distribution method and already I have got the end moments after carrying out the necessary steps in moment distribution table. So, if you see figure number 2, that is uh, below figure number 1, we can clearly see the end moments at A, B and C. So, the end moment at A, MA is 23.87 kN meter hogging, at B it is 32.27 kN meter hogging and at C it is 37.87 kN meter hogging. Now, after this step, we have to calculate vertical reactions at A, B and C. So normally what students do is they consider A, B and B, C as separate spans. I mean they consider the free body diagram of two spans and then they start applying summation of M and summation of Fy that is equilibrium equations for span A, B and B, C separately and then they calculate V, A, V, B and V, C. Of course that is a correct method. But if you want to avoid all that, then we can have a quick way of calculating support reactions just by using this table method. For that, what I have done is, let us look at the table. So, first is reactions due to external loads only. So, let us see the first row in the table. Now, forgetting about end moments for a, uh, for a while, let me only consider the external loads. So first I will take span AB as a separate simply supported entity. We know that the load on span AB is 20 kN per meter. It is acting for 4 meter. Therefore the total net downward load will be 20 into 4 that is 80 kN. Now since it is a symmetrical loading it is obvious that the upward reaction at A as well as upward reaction at B will be 40 kN as shown there. I mean uh, you can see in the first row you can see the first column. I have written 40 kN and 40 kN at A as well as B. That means those are reactions due to external load only. Similarly uh, for span BC again looking at the first row of the table only. For span BC, the total downward UDL is 12 into 6, that is 72 kN. And therefore, obviously it is uh, 36 kN at B and 36 kN at C, both upwards direction. Because load is symmetrical, so half reaction will be carried by one end and half the reaction will be offered by other end. Now going further, now let us forget about external loads. Now only... Uh, let us look at the reactions due to end moments only. So look at the second row of the table or you can say bottom row of the table. Now uh, the end moments for AB are at B 32.27 kN meter clockwise and at A 23.87 kN meter anticlockwise. And therefore the net moment which part AB is subjected to is 32.27 clockwise minus 23.87 anticlockwise and therefore I have written 8.4 kN meter clockwise. That is the net moment which part AB is subjected to. Now it is very clear that part AB is trying to rotate in clockwise direction because of a net moment of 8.4 kN meter in clockwise direction and therefore the reactions at A and B should be such that they should offer or rather they should set a restoring or resisting moment. That means they should both together they should set an anticlockwise moment and therefore as shown in the last row and the first column 
द रिएक्शन एट ए मस्ट बी डाउनवर्ड्स एंड द रिएक्शन एट बी मस्ट बी अपवर्ड्स सो दैट टुगेदर दे फॉर्म एन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट एज वी हैव लर्न इन इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स दैट टू इक्वल एंड अपोजिट फोर्सेस आई मीन पैरल फोर्सेस सेपरेटेड बाय अ सर्टन प्रैक्टिकल डिस्टेंस दे कंस्टिट्यूट अ कपल नाउ वी नो दैट पार्ट ए बी सब्जेक्टेड टू अ नेट क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट ऑफ एट पॉइंट फोर किलोमीटर मीटर and its length is 4 meter and therefore the reactions at a and b will be m by l and m by l equal and opposite so m is 8.4 divided by 4 it is 2.1 therefore at a it is minus 2.1 kN because it is downwards and at b it is 2.1 kN plus because it is upwards applying the similar concept to span bc again looking at the uh, bottom row it is very clear that span bc is subjected to clockwise 37.87 kN meter minus anti clockwise 32.27 kN meter therefore a net moment of 5.6 kN meter is acting on span bc which is trying to turn span bc in clockwise direction therefore again as i explained in span ab the same concept apply applies here so uh, b and c the reaction should be such that they should set an anti clockwise couple to resist the uh, net couple of uh, or net moment of 5.6 kN meter and therefore uh, it will be 5.6 by 6 at b and going downwards that is 0 minus 0.93 kN and at c it is 5.6 by 6 going upwards that is plus 0.93 kN now to get va i have to simply add so 40 minus 2.1 kN that is 37.9 kN at b it is 40 plus 36 plus 2.1 minus 0.93 that is 77.17 kN and finally at c it is 36 plus 0.93 that is 36.93 kN so all reactions are upwards because you have got all the answers as positive now uh, we can just uh, take a simple check also that uh, if we look at diagram number 1 20 into 4 that is 80 kN downwards 12 into 6 that is 72 kN downwards both combined the beam is subjected to a downward effect of 152 kN now at the bottom if we add va vb and vc it will be again 152 kN upwards so 152 downwards minus 152 upwards again it will be zero as required now uh, this demonstration i have only done for a simple two span continuous beam however uh, it can be extended for 3 span 4 span whatever number of spans uh, this can be extended so that it saves the time it is comfortable uh, of course uh, considering the separate free body diagrams and then applying the equations of equilibrium uh, that some people find it convenient and maybe of course this is not a difficult method already some people may be practicing it but uh, hope those who are not practicing uh, my video will help to those students so thank you very much